it's leg day now i'm hobbled so i'm gonna walk some got a train coming by you know i was thinking about these things my dad used to say that are timeless he used to say all the time never do the easy wrong over the hard right and uh, i was thinking about how that applied to not only business and people's personal life my personal life but also you know in the army you used to patrol all night long 70 pound rucksack on your back you get to the objective where the enemy's at at first light you hit them and then you move three or four kilometers away find a good secure locations and set up a patrol base where you're going to spend the day and there's priorities of work in the patrol base and the only thing anyone in that organization wants to do when you get there is eat and go to sleep but that would be the easy wrong you got to establish security first that's first priority of work and that's that's an intel process i mean you got to establish interlocking fields of fire overlapping fields of fire you got to identify the dead space and figure out what weapon systems you're going to cover that dead space with claymore mines or m203 things like that and you got to establish communications with your higher headquarters and uh you're going down the road you've been in a fight you've been shooting your weapons you're in the field you've got to disassemble your weapons and do weapons maintenance but you can't take them all down at once so you have to go you know weapon at a time and so this takes a lot of time and again all anyone wants to do go to sleep and rest well that's way down on the priority list taking care of those creature comforts getting some chow in your belly and and trying to to get a little bit of shut eye is it any different in our personal or our professional lives, you know? I was in some meetings recently where senior folks in the room, I don't know what they did. Maybe they surfed the internet, they did some personal things, but they showed up to meetings, they hadn't read the read ahead, hadn't thoroughly read the requirements in the email, so they're unprepared. Easy wrong over the hard right, they're unprepared. And it shows in the eyes of the employees who did hard work to prepare for that meeting. Any different in our personal lives? get off work last thing we want to do is go to the gym we just want to eat a eat a fast food meal get a bunch of good calories in us watch your favorite tv show maybe play a video game whatever it is easy wrong over the hard right these are small disciplines that make a difference in our life be it our personal life our health and fitness or our professional life and how we represent ourselves and when we can't do these things how do we expect those we desire to lead to do them All right we got to lead by example as i always say if you can't lead yourself then you won't lead others so learn to lead yourself before you can lead others so think about that do some uh, introspection maybe evaluate yourself how often do you choose the hard right over the easy wrong in the meantime keep moving